Hi guys and welcome to another review review. So what I have here today is a pair of interesting in-ears called Dunu, I hope it's pronounced like that, Dunu DM48. Okay, this is the box and as you can see you can find them in several different colors, but mine are black. I really like it that way. I think it looks stylish, like black and white combination here. But okay, enough about that. First of all, build quality. Uh, earphones by themselves are made of plastic. It's like plastic uh, mold of some kind. They're quite light, um, convenient to carry around. The plastic seems sturdy enough to me. It, uh, I'm not afraid to drop them or uh, handle them roughly, which is great. But I really like the cable. As you can see, <laughs> you can already see that, that it's rolled quite neatly and it's not tangly at all. It's really a welcome change from uh, models like Teen Audio, Sanfer, uh, Blondes, etc. Because this is just much more practical. It's easy to roll, it's easy to unroll, doesn't tangle. Okay, so as you can see here, they come in really <laughs> oversized box that uh, contains cable earphones themselves. Really nice quality case. Uh, I, I like it quite a bit. Okay, now that we got all of that out of our way, let's talk about the most important thing, which is sound quality. First thing that I want to mention is they're really not that difficult to drive. They do benefit from a nice external duck or duck dongle at least, but they also sound quite nice with a decent smartphone output. For example, my Xiaomi Mi5 is able to drive them quite nicely and they sound decent with it. Okay, that said, next thing is a frequency response. These are definitely U-shaped and some lower mid-range is recessed. And I usually don't like that kind of signature, but the more I listen to these, the more I got to like them actually, and I'll try to explain why. First of all, bass is, lower bass is emphasized a little bit, but it's quite clean and precise sounding. Um, bass notes are changing fast, they, they start and end fast, there is a precision to them, and you, I, I basically never feel that it's too emphasized. Then mid-range, um, as I mentioned, lower mid-range takes a hit a little bit. Uh, vocals are not that full and present, but they do have a lot of details coming from the upper register. And the overall sound character is pretty spacey. It's like they produce very spacious sound and it's quite relaxing to listen to. I feel that vocals are usually quite clean and detailed, not sharp in any way, but they're just a little bit laid back, a little bit distant. So with some prominent jazz or pop vocal, let's say for example Nora Jones, if you use more balanced earphones like Moondrop Starfield, the vocal will feel really close, really full and intimate. With these, because of U-shaped response, it will feel a little bit distant, a little bit more far away from your head. But it's still quite pleasing and for some music genres, it actually makes things a little bit less cluttered and they feel a little bit more spacious. And the next very important thing, even though those are U-shaped, as I mentioned, the high frequencies are tuned quite nicely. Um, actually, high frequencies are not prominent at all. It's more like a upper mid-range that is prominent and giving the sense of a lot of details in vocals and other instruments, but higher frequencies are not. And the sense of airiness is there, but it's not that pronounced. And that also means these 
do not sound sharp or too analytical in any way. For example, compared to Tinodio T3s, these definitely sound brighter and vocals tend to sizzle in your ear. Sibilance is quite pronounced and I cannot listen to them for a longer period of times. But these, even though they have that uh, lower mid-range dip and higher mid-range peak, they do not sound harsh. I don't know, it's something about their tuning. Um, so I was able to listen to them for a longer period and really enjoy their sound. Ideally, I would like a little bit more natural and balanced response. I prefer Moondrop Starfield to them. Starfields are also more expensive, of course, but at this price range, especially if you like a little bit of that U-shape or V-shape type of sound, but you don't want excessive emphasis on highs, you don't really want that sizzling sound that Tin Audio is going with, for example, I think these are great alternatives. To be quite honest, um, when I looked at the frequency response graphs about these earphones, I was already thinking, nah, I'm not going to like this. But I was mistaken, because measurements are one thing, and uh, in, in reality they sound smoother and nicer than Tin Audio's, and, and the, the whole sound signature is just more mild and pleasing. But you do get a lot of qualities like spaciousness, uh, you do get like really nice, fast, maybe slightly emphasized bass, but it's so precise and fast that you don't feel it's that emphasized. So, uh, first time for me to meet with Dunu brand, I'm not even sure it's pronounced like that, uh, feel free to correct me in comments below, please, if you know better. But I'm quite happy with, the, with this. Uh, build quality is okay, uh, cable is really nice, and sound quality is actually really good. Probably the, the best sounding U-shaped earphones I tested near this price range. They do get recommendation for, from me if you like that. If you want your uh, really full mid-range, like lower part of the mid-range, maybe look for something else. But if you do like this approach to uh, tuning frequency response, and I know many people really prefer this, then I, I can really recommend those. And that would be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done that already, please click subscribe and visit evreviews.com where you can find long, detailed reviews with scores. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.